Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Q&A video. Today we're going to be talking about light fastness in your coloured pencils and the three brands I'm going to talk about the light fastness in are the Faber-Castell Polychromos and the Caran d'Ache Luminance and the Caran d'Ache Pablo. They're the main three that I use and they are the highest quality light fast pencils you can get on the market which are artist grade. First of all, let me explain exactly what light fastness is for those of you that don't know. Basically, all it is is how fast the pigments in a colour will fade, especially under sunlight. So the pigments you find in coloured substances, whether it be a coloured pencil, an oil colour or an acrylic paint colour. It's exactly the same for across everything. When you're looking at doing professional grade work, like I am with pet portraits, you really want to make sure that your pencils or anything that you're using is light fast because you don't want the portrait or something that you create to fade after 20 years or to fade in the first year. You don't want to use a cheap brown pencil that doesn't have a good light fastness quality and give it to your client and then your client come back to you after a year and say look this has faded this is not what I paid for you want to avoid that at all costs so when you're looking for materials look for the highest grade light fastness you can especially when you're doing professional work it doesn't really matter so much if you're just doing like a, as a hobby and you just want to do things for yourself because I don't expect you're too bothered that things are going to fade but if you're doing it professionally this is really important I cannot stress that enough that you need the best quality pencils and the best quality light, light fastness you can afford with light fastness with coloured pencils you have two scales in which they're measured on the first scale is the blue wool scale and this is what the polychromos and the pablo pencils are measured in and this is just a star system which is on the end of the pencil and I have some examples to show you and the other kind of scale is the ASTM 6901 scale, which is what the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils are measured in. The two scales are slightly similar with the ASTM 6901, I'm just going to call it ASTM for short because it's too long to say. With that one you have a scale from 1 to 5 and it's in Roman numerals. Most of the pencils that you want to use, if you're thinking of doing this professionally, need to fall in the 1 or 2 bracket. Anything less than that it is not guaranteed and you want to try and avoid using colours and pencils that are on the lower end of that scale. The blue wool scale ranks from 8 to 1, 8 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. You want your pencils to fall in the 8, 7 or 6 bracket which is equivalent to the 1 or 2 on the ASTM and I've got a helpful little picture to help you compare the two scales. So let's talk about the pencils and how they measure up on these scales. So I'm going to start with the polychromos pencils and how to identify how many stars it has on the end of the pencil. So this one here, this one has one star and you can see it indicated on the end of the pencil there after the number of the pencil and it's just got one tiny little star. So with this pencil I would try not to use it as much in my coloured pencil work because it falls on the lower end of the scale and it's not as light fast as most of the pencils in the polychromos range so with this I will try and use it sparingly but it's not guaranteed to last so I'm going to try and stay away from it as much as I can next on our little list is a two star pencil and I have this lovely green colour again you can identify the light fastness by looking at the stars and this has two tiny little stars after the numbers on the end there. This is on the upper end of the scale and it falls between a 6 and a 5. Again it's not the best quality light fast pencil but it's not as bad as that pink one star pencil which I just showed. Lastly I have a three star pencil again there on the end there by the numbers and this is the best quality pencil you can find in the polychromos set. Not necessarily just this colour, but anything with three stars on the end of the pencil like this one. So that's how you identify how light fast the polychromos pencils are. Next I'm going to show you the Pablo and it has exactly the same system, but I'm going to just show you where to identify the stars on the Pablos. So here we have my Pablo pencils 
And they use the same star rating, so it's a blue wool scale. Anything with a star at the end of the pencil uses the blue wool scale. And a majority of pencils do tend to use this scale. But we have this one, which has a one star. And again, it's at the end of the pencil. So right at the tip here. And you can see the one star, the star's a little bit better on the Pablos, so that's a one star pencil. Our two star pencil is this lovely purple colour. And again, they're at the end, they're all at the end, so it's not going to change. These are a lot more clearer to see than the Polychromos, if I show you the end of the Polychromos and compare the two. There they are, you can see the ones on the Pablo are a little bit larger than the ones on the Polychromos. Polychromous ones are quite small and they're right next to the numbers, so they can be quite difficult to spot. And then lastly, we have a three star pencil from the Pablos. Again, nice and clear, exactly the same as the Polychromous ones. So now we move on to the Caran d'Ache Luminance, and these are the only pencil brand that I own currently that use the ASTM 6901 scale. It does say Luminance 6901 on the very end of the pencil there. So it's very clear that it uses this scale and not the blue wool scale like the Polychromis and the Pablo pencils do. Caran d'Ache do state that all of their luminance pencils fall in the one or two bracket on the 6901 scale. So that is really great. These are really the best quality light fast pen pencils you can buy on the market. No other pencil offers in the bracket of the one or the two. All of the other brands do have some pencils which fall below that. So the Luminance really do outrank the Polychromis and the Pablo in terms of light fastness. The Luminance offer 76 pencils and Caran d'Ache have stated that 61 of those 76 pencils actually fall in the higher tier, so in the one bracket of that light fastness scale. That is a huge amount of pencils to be in that scale, so they are really superior. In the Polychromo set, there are only two pencils which are ranked one star, one of them being the magenta colour, which I showed you. So two pencils out of an entire set of 120 isn't bad going. So what I would do is I would tend to just stick away from those one star pencils and just use the three and two star pencils because you know you're going to get a superior light fast quality with those pencils than with the one star. In all honesty, I wouldn't really want to risk doing a professional pet portrait piece with a one star light fastness rating pencil because it's not going to last as long as the three or two star. And I want to give the best to my customers and I don't want to supply them with something that's inferior quality. So I don't want to supply them with something that I know might actually fade in a few years. I do not want to do that at all, I want to avoid that completely. So using the two and three star pencils and I know without a doubt that all of the luminance pencils are light fast, I'm happy with that. As far as cheaper brands of pencils go, Personally, I wouldn't really want to use them because you cannot guarantee that light fastness rating. If you're just doing it as a hobby, definitely there's not a problem, but if you want to do something professionally, those are the three brands I would suggest to use because they are absolutely superior and you know you're going to get a top-notch quality product that is guaranteed to last from using those sets. Of course, that is just my opinion. I personally prefer Luminance, Paolo Chromos and Pablos, but you might have another set that you feel comfortable with and that you find great for producing work from. So, just my personal opinion. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully this has explained a little bit about light fastness to you and how to look for light fastness on your pencils. If any of your pencils don't have a star rating or don't come like with instructions in your set, look it up online because that's really the best resource to find light fastness within a pencil. I could list all of the pencils and their light fastness but I just want to stick to my three and what I know because I don't want to give out any wrong advice for pencils, which I'm not sure on. I will see you next week in another Q&A video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you later. Bye!